Hey guys, so I decided that I'm not really in the mood to cook because I had a rough day. I couldn't sleep and then today at work we were being audited on some stuff. I had to deal with that which I had no idea was gonna happen and I said I just need to eat something, preferably something that I've never had before. So I went to Steak and Shake and because you guys know that I'm kind of a fitness freak and also a fat fuck, I got, you better believe that I tripled the patty on my steak burger. And from the wrap, it doesn't look too behemoth like the picture showed. So we're gonna see what this is about. Oh, bloody hell. So it doesn't look too pretty, but it smells good. It smells like McDonald's back in its good old days, which I don't think I was even born for that. <laughs> but it reminds me of my childhood. Let me try the fries first. So the only thing I've ever gotten from Steak and Shake has been milkshakes. And you better believe I ordered one. This is the um, dark chocolate one. It's all I need in my life. This is the third one I bought in three weeks. All right, steak burger looking like a regular old beef patty. Let's see what you're about. I don't know what I was expecting. I think I need another bite. But pickles. I love me some pickles, but let me have the burger by itself. You know what? I'm not too impressed by it. I can't pick up any flavor. Wendy's burgers did have a little bit of flavor to it, but McDonald's, as fake as their shit is, I can taste some of their stuff. Maybe because it's loaded with bad stuff, but I'm sure this is loaded with bad stuff too. I don't think I ever told you how I felt about the fries. They're not that salty. They don't have a lot of flavor at all. They gave me a ton of ketchup, but normally french fries are so good on their own that I don't need ketchup. I don't think they put salt on them. I don't see any crystals. I guess that's good because salt in high amounts is bad for you. And I think what naturally recurs in your food is enough of a serving, but... Well guys, I ended up driving 20 minutes to Steak and Shake because although I have one that's five minutes away from my house, they don't take mobile orders yet, like through the app. And because I downloaded the app, they said that you would get a reward. So I said, oh, let me see what kind of reward they give you. And it was for the price of a milkshake. But if you come between 2 and 5, that's happy hour. So milkshakes are half off. So yeah, guys, all in all, I was not impressed by this. Um, the lettuce is better than Wendy's. And I also like the fact that they add pickles. Because I don't remember Wendy's adding pickles. I feel like I said it would have been better if they would have added pickles. Maybe if I would have added a cheese slice the salt that's in the cheese would have made the burgers taste better but normally burger patties can taste good on their own you know so steak and shake i'm sorry but your steak burgers if that's what you're known for it didn't surprise me it didn't so i'll keep coming back but just for the milkshakes all right, guys, I'm going to finish the rest offline. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have you ever tried Steak and Shake? Do you even like fast food? I'm normally not of a fast food junkie, but in a day like today, I'm just trying to save time. Because if I start cooking, then I have to rush myself to clean the kitchen and then go work out and then pretty much come back home, stream what I really mean to stream about and uh, go to bed because i gotta be up early again tomorrow so so anyways let me know your thoughts all right guys 
Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you soon.